What's going on everybody? This is Supreme King. A little bit of a different video today. Um, mainly all audio. I just wanted to touch on the Summerfest. Uh, I did see the show and I thought it was alright for the most part. There's only a few things that I really enjoyed. Uh, the main thing was the Callisto Protocol game. I mean that game looked fantastic right off the gate. It was the best looking game I thought for pretty much the entire show. But overall, um, the level of detail in this game was just phenomenal. I mean, you could see a lot of blood and gore, and I think that's really missing in games where you have a lot of shooting mechanics. You know, any, any shooter should have a lot of blood and gore, because, I mean, you're shooting somebody in the arm, in the leg, in the face, and this game does not... Uh, hold back on that you can shoot off limbs you see the blood splatter everywhere um, there's even one point where the guy himself who was doing the shooting like he gets caught in something that just rips him to shreds and you can see the the shock on his face and everything and I thought it was just a fantastic looking game and it jumped to like the top of the list as far as a game that I want to see pretty much by the end of this year, which it is coming out at the end of this year, but it, it's the hottest game on the third party market right now that I'm paying attention to. I think the only other thing that might have my attention maybe a little bit more is the Resident Evil 4 remake, um, mainly because I'm a big fan of the Resident Evil franchise, but this takes it to another level and I can't wait to see more footage on this game. I was a little surprised that they was coming out with another alien game that fast. Um, to me, I thought that they had two of them and that was enough, but I guess the franchise must be doing really well for them because here's the third game. I'm not really too interested in that, but I do think that they probably have a big fan base and if a lot of people like it, great. More power to you, have fun. I was tripping out a little bit with the game Fort Solis because to me the first thing I thought about was Starfield just because I saw you know somebody in space and I guess I had to realize this isn't the Xbox show yet. I guess it might have some competition and competition is good for the business and for the game so I hope this one is just as good as Starfield. We'll just have to see. Outriders having DLC is cool like I knew it was coming. Um, but the game was pretty mid for me. It was a little fun just because I played it in co-op, but overall it was just another shooter and it had its issues with me for the, the story. I was just like, what is going on here? Because it, it just kept changing and I don't know if they had a clear direction or not, but gameplay wise, it was still okay. I, I did enjoy my time mainly because of the co-op experience, but I can imagine that they did tweak this game uh, a little bit more for the DLC, so it can only get better. And so I, I, I'm sure it will be a success coming off of the base game. Uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game was a big throwback for me. Definitely something I used to play all the time in the arcades when I was a little, little kid. And I'm still a big fan of the original Ninja Turtle series, as well as the 90s movies. So uh, I'm glad to see that it's still doing good as far as the franchise in 2022. And I hope they continue to grow. I think the last thing I want to mention here is just more hype for the Xbox show. Uh, there was some recent news that came out that said that they were expecting to release five exclusives for the next physical year and I think that's a big deal for Xbox. Like yes, there might be Starfield and Redfall for two of them, but overall it looks like they're starting to get the ball rolling and they're starting to produce some major first party content. So that was all they needed and I'm glad that they're starting to step up and we're hearing good things coming from them. Um, still can't wait for the show. Uh, I'm pretty sure everybody's going to be wild and you're going to hear so much news, so much coverage from everybody, including here. Um, so thank you for watching this small, quick vid and like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.